you're listening to the Photography Made Simple podcast with me, your host, Audrianne from Live Snap Love, where I teach you how to take gorgeous, wall worthy pictures that you can't wait to share and that your friends can't stop raving about. Now, one question I got from one of my students inside our student only Facebook group was, do I need to calibrate my lens? I keep hearing it talked about, but I've never done it and I don't know what to do. It's such a great question, one which I think every single one of us will ask ourselves at some point, which is why I wanted to tackle it here on the podcast today. So I'm going to cover what lens calibration is, why you might occasionally need it, and how to know if you need to do it right now. Plus, I'm going to give you a quick and dirty test that you can do with your lenses and a guide to how to actually calibrate should you need to do so. Now, before we dive into the need and the how, let's rewind a little bit for any new photographers out there and talk about what lens calibration actually is. So camera lens calibration is the process of fine tuning the autofocus system of your camera to ensure accurate and precise focus. Basically, if your lens needs calibration, it means there's a slight miscommunication between the autofocus of your camera and the lens. And when you calibrate, you're simply correcting how off this lens is. Essentially, you're matching up the lens to the camera's autofocus chip so that they're both seeing the same thing at the same time. Now, you do this by getting into the autofocus system on your camera and adjusting it. And that way, we hopefully ensure that the lens always focus accurately on the subject. Now, to understand why there might be a problem with the autofocus, let's start by looking at how this can happen. So all cameras and lenses are manufactured to be within a certain range of accuracy. So for example, your camera may focus ever so slightly to the back, but it's within an acceptable margin, and it's virtually unnoticeable. It can also be the same with your lens. It could front or back focus ever so slightly, but be within that tolerance so that it's not really noticeable. But when you put these two slightly off items together, you end up with a bigger problem. So if your camera back focuses ever so slightly, and then your lens back focuses ever so slightly, you put them together, it's enough to take focus out of that acceptable range. So both on their own may be fine, And the problem only happens when you put them together. There's also a situation where the lens was shipped out without focus being in that acceptable range. Now, this is unusual, but not totally unheard of uh, with high quality, quality lenses because Canon and Nikon and so on have really good quality control on their lenses. But with cheaper lenses who don't have that same stringent quality controls, it can be more likely that these are a little bit off right from the get-go. Finally, the other thing to note is that over time, the communication between the lens and the camera's autofocus chip can shift and that can cause your focus to be off. So even if you had your lens and your camera working together and they were fantastically sharp and accurate when you first got it, this can change over time. So if you do start to notice that what was once sharp and accurate is now off, yes, that would definitely be a clear sign that you need to calibrate your lens. So let's move on now to how to know if your lens needs calibrated. So if you start to notice that your image looks focused in the viewfinder, but then when you view the image later on the computer screen and focus seems to have landed elsewhere, then this could be a sign that your lens needs calibrated. So for example, let's say you were photographing a person and you aimed the focus point on the eye, but then when you look back on the image and you view it zoomed in, you'll see that the focus landed on the shoulder instead of the eye or the ear. In other words, the focus is that little bit off. Now, critically, it's always off in the same direction. In other words, it will focus either a little bit in front or a little bit behind. If you find it moves a little bit to the right and then the next one, it's a little bit to the left and and then other time it's a little bit to the back, that's not your lens needing calibrated because it will always consistently be off in the same place. Now, you will also find that this is far more noticeable when you're shooting wide open because that depth of field is so narrow 
it will exaggerate the problem or it will really show up the problem exactly where it is. Now, at this point, I do want to put in a couple of caveats here because a lot of the time, images are soft due to user error, not because the lens needs calibrated. There are so many factors that go into getting a tack sharp image and that can stop us from getting one. So it could simply be that you're not doing it right rather than the lens is the problem. If this is the case, you'll see that focus lands elsewhere, but it's different each time. So it's not always to the right, for example. So it's not consistently off in the same direction. So if you are not consistently getting the sharp focus you want, it is a good idea to quickly test your lens. That way you'll know whether you have a problem with your equipment or whether it's user error. Now, if you do have a problem, great, then you can calibrate your lens to fix it. And if you don't, at least it will put your mind at rest that your equipment is fine and you simply need to focus on learning the techniques and the strategies for getting sharp focus with different subjects because it changes the different things that your subject's doing and what you're doing. So if you're in our Auto to Awesome program, for example, there's a whole module and I think it's six lessons purely on focus because there really is so much that goes in to making sure that your images are tack sharp. So the short and curly answer to this is you only need to calibrate if and when you notice that your focus is consistently off when you use a certain lens, either when you immediately get the lens or it could be even after a couple of months or even a couple of years of use. So if you always used to get sharp photos, but now you don't, then definitely that's a clear sign to test your lens. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that you won't need to calibrate if you have a mirrorless camera. And that's because mirrorless cameras do not use an autofocus chip. The camera sensor takes care of both, apparently. So there can't be that same miscommunication that you get if you use a DSLR. Okay, so now you've noticed that your focus is always that little bit off. How do you actually check that and see whether your lens needs calibrated? Well, there is a really super simple check that you can do, and you can do it either for free using a set of batteries, or if you have around $10 to spare, you can get a really cheap and cheerful lens calibration tool. Now, I personally recommend that you get this $10 uh, lens calibration tool because you can use that to check your focus, and if your lens need calibrated, it will help you with that as well. But as I say, you can do it for free to begin with using that batteries option. So if you go to the show notes for this episode at livesnaplove.com forward slash 27, I will link to the lens calibration tool that I personally use and recommend. And I will also link to a blog post which shows you how to do it using just batteries. So you'll have both options there. So again, you'll find that at the show notes at livesnaplove.com forward slash 27. And I'll link to this around where you're listening to this podcast. I think if you just see their swipe up or swipe down, I can never remember. You'll see the description for this podcast episode and there'll be a link to it in there. So you can use one of those two things to check if your lens needs calibrated. Essentially, when you're using the calibration tool, as I recommend, when you get it, you'll see it's like a pop-up piece of cardboard. It has an area that you focus on. And then running alongside that is a strip that kind of looks like a tape measure. And essentially, you're going to pop your, tri- your camera on a tripod, pop the lens calibration tool on a steady surface. Make sure they're just facing one another directly. You focus on the area that it tells you to. It looks like a QR code. And then just alongside that, you'll see that tape measure. If when you look at it, you see that focus is on zero, then you know your lens is perfect. You don't need to do anything else. Your lens does not need calibrated. However, if it goes to the number one or worse to the number two behind, then that means your lens is back focusing. If it falls on the number one or the number two in front, then it means that your lens is front focusing. Now, again, go to the show notes for this episode. I've given you a picture and you'll be able to see that Um, exactly what I'm talking about and what that looks like. Now, if your lens does need calibrated, you have noticed it, you've noticed there's a problem, you've got that lens calibration tool, it's not 
focus is not landing on the zero, it's either front or back focusing, then you have two options available to you. The first is you can go and put your lens in to get calibrated at your local camera shop, or I think you can send them into Canon and Nikon and they will do it for you. And it costs somewhere around 50 to $100, that kind of mark. Now, one of the downsides is that you need to send both your lens and your camera in at the same time because obviously they need both to match them up. So it does mean you're going to be without your camera for a little while. If you're quite happy to get in amongst your camera's system, then you can do it yourself with that lens calibration tool that I mentioned. Now, there are different options. Again, I'm going to link to some of them in the show notes for you. And then what you are going to do is you are going to go into your camera settings menu and you're going to look for something called AF micro adjustment. Now, they're called different things by different manufacturers. So Canon is AF micro adjustment. Nikon is AF fine tune. I'll list some other ones in the show notes as well. Essentially, it's AF micro adjustment or something along those lines. And then with your chosen lens calibration tool, it will come with directions on how to do it. So you don't need to guess at it. And I'll also just list out a generic uh, step-by-step guide in the show notes for this episode. Again, livesnaplove.com forward slash 27. But essentially, you're going to be doing the same thing. You'll have your camera on your tripod, your lens calibration tool on a flat and steady surface. You're going to focus and you're going to see whether your lens is front or back focusing. Then at this point, you are going to use that AF adjustment, the AF micro adjustment that we just spoke about, and you are going to use that to fine tune your focus. You're essentially kind of moving it forward or back based on whether your lens is front or back focusing. And then you're going to keep repeating that. You're going to fine tune it, going to take a test shot, you might need to do it again. And you're just going to repeat until focus lands on the right spot. So again, I am going to link to how to do that a bit better over on the show notes. Now, one final thing to note is that this will only work for that particular lens. So what you would need to do is go and do it for all your lenses. So if you have multiple lenses, personally, I'd go and do them all at the same time. You've got everything set up, just go and check them all at the same time and do that as well. Now, my final point is before I leave today is that if you do go and calibrate your lens, please don't expect this to be a magic pill that means all your images are going to be sharp forevermore. So good focusing techniques coupled with the right focusing modes and coupled with the right focusing strategies will help far more than making tiny little micro adjustments with your lens focus. So If it's massively out, yes, of course, that's going to make a difference. If it's just that tiny bit out, it's not going to be this magic pill. Having a calibrated lens, but then not doing the other things that contribute to sharp focus is a bit like closing the porthole on the Titanic. So even with calibration, it won't be as hyper-specific as you may think. Once you change your aperture value, that could mean there's a small adjustment away from O and you can't calibrate for multiple apertures. So this isn't a fail-safe for getting sharp images. It's just one little element in that whole arsenal of strategies that you need. So I hope that you found this episode helpful. As I say, go to livesnaplove.com forward slash 27. You'll get links to that blog post about the how to test your lens using the batteries, the lens calibration tool that I use and recommend, other options that you can use. And I've you'll be able to see what I'm talking about as well, which can be easier. And I'll give you that quick and dirty guide to how to calibrate your lens as well. Now, if you've been enjoying this podcast, it would mean the world to me if you could take a quick moment just to leave a review. If you've only got a couple of seconds, just hit the stars button. Five stars is always good. And if you have a little bit more time, then if you could leave a written review, that would mean the world to me and it would be so, so helpful. And I'd really, really appreciate it. So if you have the time, give a quick scribble on what you've been enjoying about the podcast. So that's it again from me and I will see you again same time, same place next week.